nutritionists here at Counter Boys and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my overnight oats. So overnight oats is a super simple, easy kind of breakfast or lunch um, for on the go. I used to take them to my, like when I went to university, to work, I'd sometimes sit in the back of my lecture and like nibble at them. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can basically put whatever you want in it. Um, but the one I'm showing you today is like my personal favourite, but there's loads of recipes on Google and stuff you can use. So I normally use this kind of Tupperware, um, just because it's quite easy to use. And I've got like a lid, screws on, nothing leaks, perfect. So I start by using 50 grams of oats. Just, yeah, just enough I'd say. And then I put... So I've actually measured it out beforehand, but I've got some pumpkin seeds, some almonds, and some cranberries. Um, super good in fiber, you know, your healthy fats, like your omegas. And I'm just gonna put them in there. And then I also you put some chia seeds in it. Um, I have this like really big bag. I ordered it off online somewhere. I wasn't expecting it to come in a bag this big, but this is two kilo worth of chia seeds. It's gonna last me a long time. Um, so I probably, oh God, put, I don't know, say three teaspoons worth of chia seeds in there. Um, chia seeds are another really good one for your protein and fiber to keep that bowel going. Um, and obviously your proteins for growth and repair of like your muscles and overall like immune function. Um, and then I normally put some frozen blueberries in and then once I use this like overnight in the morning the blueberries are kind of like mm, I wouldn't say mushy but they're still like cold kind of I don't know it just adds a nice texture to it um so I'd say probably like a hand oh that was a bit much oopsie um yeah like about a handful that was probably a bit more but you know <laughs> good for those antioxidants <laughs> and then um so after that See, I normally use cacao powder, um, but you can also use cocoa powder. Um, so the difference between the two, cacao is like the more raw version of the like cocoa bean. So it's super high in copper and magnesium. And I generally prefer the taste. It's a bit more bitter, but um, you know, whatever takes your fancy. So I probably put, about a teaspoon in, like that. And then half a banana I mush in. Just mush in there. I probably should have mushed that before, oops. And then, after I've kind of put all of that in, I use coconut milk. You can use whatever milk you like. I just love the coconutty taste. So I'd probably pour it until it like just about covers everything. I mean, if in the morning you wake up and it's like super solid, then you can always add more. There's no harm in that. Just give it all you know, a good, oh God, a super good mix. And then that is basically it. It looks kind of curly, but you know, blueberries. So then I just literally put the lid on. The other half of the banana, I chop up and put it on in the mornings, along with a spoonful of peanut butter. Um, but yeah, and then just pop that in the fridge overnight and 